Hello everyone and welcome to this month's Best and Worst of Beauty. I cannot believe we are already at the end of November here, but time flies, years fly, and here we are. We are almost at the end of 2022, but before we get to that, it is November. Let's not get, well, actually by the time you see this, it might be December. Either way, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's still cherish the good old days, the semi-present times, and let's talk about what I was loving and hating in this past month of November. November 2022. Let's do it in pyramid form how I always do. I've just got a small pyramid here this month, so a sixth product pyramid, but these are the products I was using and testing the most and that I can actually give you good reviews on. I put them in ranking from the worst product up to the best, so we are working our way from the bottom up to the top, and that is just how we do it. That's how we've been doing it for 10 years, and that's how I plan on continuing it in the future. I think it's a lot of fun, and I hope you guys always get some good recommendations and non-recommendations from these beauty pyramids. Before we actually get into the pyramid though, let's go ahead and thank today's sponsor, June's Journey. Very happy to be working with them again here at the end of the year. If you guys don't know it, June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game set in the 1920s. It has beautiful visuals. I love a good murder mystery and I love art, so this combines both of it. I love puzzle type games and this is one of the ones that I love to play that keeps my mind feeling fresh. It's not too challenging, but it's just challenging enough to really feel like I'm giving my brain a bit of a workout, keeping things sharp by looking through the gorgeous landscapes and storyscape pictures where you find the hidden objects, like I said, to help June figure out the death of her sister and find out all of the secrets within her family. I personally love playing these types of games when I first wake up in the morning while I eat breakfast. Like I said, it's just a good way to get the cogs rolling and cranking in my brain. And like I said, it's also a fun way to do so. So if you want to go ahead and and join me in playing through June's journey. It is completely free to download and you can do so through clicking my link down below. June's journey is available on Android and iOS mobile devices as well as through PC on Facebook games. So lots of different ways you can play. And like I said, it's free to download, fun to play, and I would love to have you join me on my journey through June's journey. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. And now on to the pyramid, we can go ahead and talk about these products I've got here. So let's sing the song together and then we can do just that. It's the best and worst of beauty. Whether good or bad, here's the down and dirty. So, bottom of the pyramid. I hate to say it, you guys, but this pyramid has a lot of not great products. And a lot of them are products that, I mean, sometimes, you know, I try out a product and it's like, okay, it was garbage, who cares? But all of these products, I wanted these to work and they start off so beautiful so perfect, so lovely, but then throughout the day they just turn to crap, and unfortunately for me, that's a deal breaker. I don't care how perfect you are at the beginning. I need you to last through the end of the day. I need you to hang with me. I need you to just perform. And unfortunately, this Wander Beauty product doesn't do that for me. This is the Double Date Eyeshadow Duo in the shades Smitten and Swoon. I got this in a boxy charm and I was so excited. This looked so perfect for me. I love little one and done products like this for the eyes. I mean, technically this is a two and done because it comes with a powder shadow on top and then a cream on the bottom. It's a beautiful little duo. A nice little bronzy cream and then the top is this beautiful metallic shimmer it just it catches the light so beautifully it's gold with a hint of bronze to it these just pair beautifully they look gorgeous on the eyes but no matter what I do no matter what primer I use no matter what primer I don't use whether I use the powder sh whether I just use the powder on its own, whether I just use the cream product on its own, it doesn't matter. These crease so badly on me. Like, the worst creasing I think I've ever seen from a product. They don't last throughout the day. They fade. And it's not just like, you know, only on the days where I have a makeup on for like 15 plus hours, then it creases. No, it's like even within a couple hours, this is starting to crease and fade. And it's just a darn shame because otherwise I adore Adore this it's so pretty I love the little compact it comes in the tint of pink it's just I love everything about this except for the performance application packaging product idea like I said so good so love but the performance it just ruins it for me
Now next up, keeping in line with that, you know, where it starts off so beautiful, so perfect, so lovely, so pretty, but yet, I just, ah, uh, I'm not going to be able to use this again because at the end of the day, it causes me frustration. And it is this right here. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. You guys, this mascara, I revisited it recently because it came in a BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm did a completely Tarte box. Very nice and exciting. Uh, so get ready for some Tarte products here. But this mascara, I thought I had remembered liking it. Well, upon first applying it, oh, the memories came flooding back about how much I loved it in terms of how it looks when I first apply it. It, you know, comes with a really unassuming wand. It really doesn't seem like it's going to be anything special. It's definitely a wetter formula of mascara, so it can be a little messy along the lash line, that's for sure. But my god, does it look good on the lashes. It lengthens mostly, but it still gives some volume. It defines. It just makes your lashes look vavoom. Incredible. Incredible. However, <laughs> I think it's a combo of my oily skin and my watery eyes. This stuff does not look good at the end of the day. It has flaked and smudged underneath my eyes like crazy. And like I said, it's a darn shame because otherwise it's lightweight. I love the way that it looks, but I just, I can't keep wearing it. Even because I have tried it where I do like a waterproof on my bottom lash line and then just use this on my top lashes. It does help but it doesn't completely cure the problem so unfortunately I don't know it makes me curious and want to try out their waterproof version of this their lights camera splashes mascara again but I feel like when I tried that one it wasn't quite as good. I don't know I don't remember so I think I just need to go ahead and try it again because this my god if you don't have watery eyes or oily skin I don't know maybe give to try and it won't be as offensive on you by the end of the day but uh, the way that it looks so good and now next up on the pyramid this is going to be a huge surprise i think to some of you guys because i have talked very big and loud and proud about these products and how much i love them and i was so excited to purchase this one because like i said i've had no problems in the past in fact i've had nothing but good wonderful delightful experiences so when i saw that kaja had come out with new beauty bentos their eyeshadow trios i hopped on it i bought two of the shades and this was the one i was the most excited about this mauve bouquet I don't understand you guys. Something has to be different with the formula here because this is the same as that Wander Beauty product where it creases and fades like crazy on me. That has never happened with these beauty bendos before. You know, like I said, whether I wear it on top of a cream shadow, I wear a primer, I don't wear a primer, whatever, I cannot get this to work. This particular shade, at least not the one in the middle that's, you know, kind of meant for all over the eye. It's so pretty. It's just this shimmery, sparkly, semi-glittery, pinky, lilac -y, mauve -y purple. It's so lovely on the eyes. It really is. And then I love that it comes with the matte on the bottom. The matte actually blends and applies very lovely. And then also the flaky shimmer type stuff. The It's kind of like a gold leaf, uh, but it's got a champagne to it. It's so pretty. I use it in the corner of my eyes. I use it on my cheeks as a highlight. Those two shades are lovely. The top and the bottom. But this middle one, I cannot get to not crease on me. And it breaks my darn heart because like I said, I love these beauty bentos. They, I have a few of them and they've always been wonderful. And like I said, this is two thirds wonderful, but one third is not. And it really breaks my darn heart because this shade selection is right up my alley. But overall, I just, I'm still gonna keep it because like I said, the top and the bottom work great and I can use those. But that middle shade, it's just a bummer because it's so pretty and I want to use it, but I know it's just going to make me sad by the end of the day. And next up, like I said, prepare yourself for some Tarte products here. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. I have got the cream blush that I have been using this past month, and it is this one from Tarte. This is the Breezy Cream Blush in the shade Pink Sky. I really quite like this blush. I think the color is a little deep for me. I think on camera it doesn't show up that way, but I think in real life it's a little intense and not quite the look I love. However, the formula is delightful. 
usually. You need the very smallest little bit and then it dabs on, it blends beautifully, and it lasts all day. The shade is really the one thing that holds me back on really loving this product, but I've been liking it a good amount this past month. It really has been so nice and easy to apply and enjoy in that way. So I think it's a good little cream blush and if you're in the market for a new one, maybe check one of these out. And now we can get on into products that I really have been loving. Top of the pyramid almost here. I have got the lip product that I've been wearing for the majority of this past month, and it is this one right here. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Rose. This is a fun little product, you guys. It is nothing super crazy special, but at the same time, it is. First off, I love that it's a click-up pen. Like, that's just fun for everyone, right? I mean, maybe not if you're like in the office and you're in a meeting and you need to touch up your lip gloss, but like, otherwise, very cute, very fun. It glides on very smooth and creamy. It's very oily in that sense, in that it just melts. Uh, but once it's on your lips, it feels like a really nice cushy lip balm. It doesn't feel messy or sloppy or anything. It feels very secure and it just, it's very pretty. It just gives the lips this little tint of rosy pink and it keeps the lips hydrated even after it has faded and whatnot. And it lasts a really good amount of time, like five, six hours before I'm wanting to reapply this. So I've really, really been enjoying this. If if you don't like the smell of coconut, don't go near these. This smells like kind of like a coconut tanning oil type of a thing. I don't hate it, but definitely of note. And also I would be very wary, like during the summer, I would not want to have this in my purse. I feel like it would melt into a huge messy pool and then you'd have to throw your purse away and you wouldn't have your lip product anymore. So that would just be a horrible day. But otherwise, really been enjoying this. It's been a nice one. And now we're at the top of my pyramid and I am so in love with this product, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is a perfume that I had gotten from Scentbird and I have been loving it. This is the Derek Lum 10 Crosby. Is that how you pronounce the brand? It's the scent All of Me. And oh my God, please have it. Take it. All of it. Mmm, mmm. It smells so good, you guys. It is, if you like a pear scent, please check this out. It's like a sugary pear with a bit of like citrusy florals to it, citrusy white florals. It is so feminine, so pretty, just so light and airy, but like sweet and comforting. It's so delicious. It makes me smell so good. The longevity is pretty dang good. I feel like it lasts all day. Like I feel like on my wrists and whatnot, if I go in for a sniff at the end of the day, I can still smell it. It's not like super heavy. I don't think it would bother anyone around you, but you know, it's not the strongest perfume ever either, but it, you know, lasts just fine for me. And I just, I love the scent so much, especially during the winter. Something about that pear, but like a sugary sweet pear in the winter cold, mm, it just, it gets me going. I love this perfume. It is so nice, so, so nice. And I would highly recommend it. So uh, that's my pyramid this past month, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some good recommendations and non-recommendations. It's mostly non-recommendations, I'm sorry. But I just, I gotta tell you about these products, you guys, so that maybe you can be wary. Or maybe you can go give it a try, you know, just because I don't like it doesn't mean you're not gonna like it. But in any case, I hope it was good for you guys. Thank you once again to June's Journey for sponsoring the video. Don't forget to click my link down below to check it out for yourself. I'd really appreciate it. It is a free way for you to support me through checking out my sponsor. So thank you very much for doing that if you want to. And thank you June's Journey for sponsoring. And thank you all once again for watching. You can certainly let me know what your best and worst of beauty has been for this past month in the comments down below. Have you tried out any of these products I talked about? Do you feel the same or differently as me? Please tell me things down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful somehow, whatever the case may be by giving a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!